Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today, for the first time, I'm going to be attempting to use magnetic lashes. <laughs> so um, the brand Glamnetic reached out to me and wanted to send me a couple pairs of lashes and their lash glue, and I accepted. This video is not sponsored, but they did send me these products in PR to test out. I have been reached out over the years by a couple of other um, magnetic lash brands to try their lashes, but before I accept any PR, because I'm really picky about what I do accept, I research the brand, I research it on social media, I check out their website, I check out their reviews, because um, the whole point of me accepting PR is really to test it and review it for you guys. I don't like to just accept PR for the purpose of just like getting products because to me it's a bit wasteful that way. Um, but this brand, I looked them up, they look really great. The only downside is that their lashes are fairly expensive. Um, but according to them, since you're not using glue, these should last like 10 times longer than regular lashes. So that's what I really wanna test out here. So they were kind enough to send me two pairs of lashes and then their liquid eyeliner, which is the magnetic liner that they actually attach to. So let me show you everything that I got. This is the box the liner came in. And then this is the liner itself. It's just a black liner and I'm opening it for the first time. So a nice tip. The first pair of lashes I got were the Lucky Lashes. And here is what they look like. Very, very pretty. And the second pair that I got are called the Vixen Lashes. And I think I'm going to try these first because these look absolutely stunning. Okay, so I should have been a little bit more prepared, but I wasn't. Um, so I, I really just went to the um, Glamnetic website to look at their how to apply these. It looks really simple on the video. Uh, my question was, I wasn't sure if you had to trim the lashes because on the back, I think it says trim them, but in the videos, everyone just pops them on. So I think I want to just pop them on before I try um, trimming them because I don't, I don't want to trim them. I mean, they look expensive because they are expensive. These are like $30 a pair. So the reason I have a bare face is because I really wanted to try this first just on a bare lid just to see how the process goes and how the liner works. Um, and then in the second half of the video, I'm going to come back with a full face and try the other pair of lashes as well. So I'm going to go first with the Vixen lashes, these ones, and I'm going to put the liner on. I'm going to do one eye at a time, <laughs> A, to hopefully not mess it up, and B, because you're supposed to wait until it's 80% dry and then pop the lashes on. So I'm gonna shake this up. They said you have to shake this up really well before you apply. Boop, 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 boop. All right. I'm gonna start with my right eye because that eye seems to just always turn out better for me. Um, and you're supposed to make the liner as thick as the magnet. So it looks a little thick. And I'm gonna do my, oh, I got an eye crusty. That's lovely. <laughs> so I am going to do my best to just, Okay, I have to say the thinness of the liner brush really helped. <laughs> we'll see how that works on the other side because I'm really bad at liner on this side of my eye. Okay, so we just have just like a nice thick liner on and I'm just gonna let it dry, it's at 80%. So we're gonna let this dry and see how they pop on. <laughs> The video said you could like fully let it dry and then pop them on, but they said it works best if it's 80% dry. Okay, so tapping them, they feel, I objectively can't say what 80% dry feels like, but they feel kind of mostly dry. So I'm gonna take the lash and let's see if it pops on. I'm gonna start, they said start on the inner corner. So I'm gonna try to grab it from the middle, line it up. It was actually super quick. Okay, color me fairly impressed. Only thing is I think I should have put them out a little bit more to the outer. Can I take them off and put them back on? Let's try that. Because I think I put it a little too close to my inner corner. So let's try there. Wow. <laughs> okay, I didn't think it would go that quick. Wow, and, and they're on. <sighs> Wow, okay, let me try the other the other side. Let's give it another shaky shake. Okay, so I got the liner on the other eye. Honestly, not as bad as I typically do on that side. I'm gonna let it dry and my camera is about to run out of memory right here. So I'm gonna swap that and then we'll be back to pop on that other lash. 
Okay, so I think this side is almost 80% dry. One downside I did run into, unfortunately. Um, so I have very hooded lids and I accidentally looked up while they were still drying and I did get some of the lash. You can see it kind of stained a little bit right there, which is something I wanted to test out before I had a full face of makeup on. So it's good to know you really need to keep, if you have hooded lids at least, you need to keep your eyes down low and wait for it to dry because it'll transfer. And it was actually pretty hard to get it off. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But it's just about dry. I'm gonna pop on the other lash. And then learning from the other side, I'm going to keep this just like, oh my god. That was like perfect. <laughs> it really just popped right on. Okay, so surprisingly, this eye came out better. So it popped on. I think I had to like flip it up a little bit because you see how like this eye is actually flaring and coming out and then this eye is kind of going this way. So lesson learned there. I should plop, plop them on like that. Oh my God. That took like two seconds. Impressed. Just right off the bat. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's zoom in real quick. Okay, and here it is zoomed in. As you can see, this eye came out so nice and that's because I kind of flipped them up when I put them on. Whereas this eye, I kind of just put on straight on. So that's definitely something you're going to want to do or keep in mind and like they stick on like I mean I can pull them off but like they're not gonna fall off if I blink too much you know wow I <laughs> I am just really impressed right now hmm. and it's worked really well like on a um I was gonna say blank lid on a clean lid I've seen other ones where you have to have makeup on and you can't just do them like this so you know to be honest with like a no makeup makeup day, if they had a kind of like wispy style, I could probably just do just this. Okay, so let me try just taking them off real quick and seeing how quick that process is. So let's grab it and boom, they're off. Okay, we got that side and we got that side. Hmm. Okay, so test number one kind of blew me out of the water. Wow. So I'm going to wash my face, um, put on a full face of makeup, um, clean these, because I know you've got to like clean them just to get the glue off in between each wear. So I'm going to do all of that, come back with a full face of makeup to try the other pair and see if it still works as well. Okay, so I'm back with the full face of makeup. I'm actually really happy with all the eyeshadow came out, so I'm really hoping I don't mess this up. <laughs> So for this time, I'm gonna put on the Lucky Lashes, which I believe are just a slightly more, they're longer and a little bit more dramatic, which I think is gonna fit this eyeshadow look really nicely. So let's shake this up again and just hope I don't mess up this eyeshadow. <laughs> All right, one side done. I'm gonna let it dry to 80%. Okay, so I think we're at 80%, so I'm going to grab the first lash. So I'm gonna do it like I did the second lash earlier. I'm really gonna try and like flip them up, start from the bottom. Okay, so one downside to these, they're actually a little too big for my eyes. Yeah, I, they just don't fit. So I am going to have to trim this slightly. Okay, so they're on, though the outer corner here isn't really sticking as well. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more liner and like stick it directly on. Because I don't know if I just didn't put enough liner there or if it's because I had to cut it off and it dried too much. So let me just do that real quick. There we go. Much better. Okay. We've got one lash on, and now that I know like the style specifically is just a little too big and I know I have to trim them, I'm going to trim the other one before I do the liner for that side. And just to show you, I only clipped off, basically it was one magnet that I had to clip off in order to make these actually fit my eyes. All right, and here is the set fully on. Okay. 
Okay, so a couple of things first off the bat. Uh, first, uh, I love the style and they look really, really nice on. I think they're a really good shape and after I trimmed them, I think these fit really well. Uh, second, they feel different <laughs> than regular lashes. They definitely feel a little bit heavier. So these aren't a lash that you're gonna put on and then feel like you're not wearing a lashes. Like it feels like I'm wearing lashes. Um, especially this this side, if I could feel like the inner corner. I think that just might be my application though, to be completely honest. As I continue using these and test them more, I'm gonna see whether or not like that I get used to that feeling or if it just constantly feels like you're wearing a slightly heavy lash. I have to say, quickest lash application I've ever done. And I do like the fact that it's basically a built-in liner because that way I don't have to put liner on and then use glue and then put the lashes on. Only other downside is I don't think from what they said, you're supposed to put mascara on your regular lashes. So my regular lashes do kind of poke through a little bit, but these are so big and dramatic. I really don't think you'll see it unless you're doing zoom in like Instagram pictures or anything. Cause I think like right here on camera, oh, I might be wrong. I could see an editing, but I don't think it stands out too much, but I do see it when I'm looking here, like my regular lashes kind of poking through. But overall, for a first impression, I have to say I am very, very impressed. Uh, it was really quick. It, you know, there were a lot of companies that it's like you see someone do it on video and then you try it yourself and you're like, oh, this, this isn't as, as seen on TV, right? It actually was. So I'm pretty impressed there. Um, I don't want to go ahead and say, oh yeah, go out and buy this right away because they are expensive. Each pair I think is around $30. So this is my first impression. I'm very impressed. I like them so far. What I want to do is thoroughly test them for at least a month, at least. <laughs> I want to wear both sets of lashes. I want to wear them for full days, see how they feel, see how easy or hard it is to take the liner off and give you a full review in a few weeks. But my first impression, wow. <laughs> I I'm just excited to see if these still hold up and amaze me as much as they have now throughout the next few weeks. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you've ever tried magnetic lashes and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.